Um, then I realized my son was kind of shaking a little bit. I think some hours after birth. That was because of the long labor that this woman in that hospital. I won't mention the name of the hospital, but the name of the, the hospital is in Stuttgart. And it was the horrible hospital where someone can go and give birth. I almost fainted. How can I, how can I do a test yesterday? It was red. Uh, that two reds were so dark, bold. And then the next day, it was so faint, almost negative. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about story time, my pregnancy, how everything went with my pregnancy and the delivery journey. I'm going to explain to you what I experienced. It was so horrible. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. How did I find out that I was pregnant? So step number one, uh, if you watch that video for my miscarriage, you realize that I said I got my baby a month later. So I was really, really trying to have another child. You know, after having, losing a child, you, you get so sad. You just want to replace that child with another child. So I tested for ovulation every day. And when it turned positive, then hmm, we baby danced. And after that... <laughs> After baby dancing, two weeks after that, when I was expecting my period, I started having heartburns. Like the last pregnancy, I was having heartburn. Even if I drink water, I would get heartburn. Even if I drink milk, heartburn. Even if I eat bread, heartburn. So this, this are this, this is the same same symptoms that I was experiencing with this this other pregnancy. Okay, I did not know I was pregnant by then, but I was thinking I, I could be pregnant. So I had the same symptoms and stomach cramps. I was having uh, uh, stomach pains. I see my period is coming. So because of this heartburn, I just say, let me go to the shop and buy pregnancy test and see if I'm pregnant or I'm just hallucinating. So I went to the, uh, to the shop chemist. I bought two pregnancy tests and then, um, I came home that afternoon. I tested with one. It was positive. I was so happy. I was the happiest woman at that moment. And then I sent, uh, I took a picture with my phone and then I sent it to my husband. He was working and then I sent it to him, but he didn't believe it. He thought I was lying. I don't know why. So when he came home, he saw the test. He said, no, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Maybe tomorrow morning, take another test. Then I will believe it. Maybe this is somebody's test. That's what he was saying. And then in the morning, I woke up. The first, first urine, you know. I went to the toilet. And then I, I took the second test. I did the test. It came back almost negative. I almost fainted. How can I, how can I do a test yesterday? It was red uh, that two reds were so dark bold and then the next day it was so faint almost negative i panicked i thought it was a chemical pregnancy so i called my gynecologist in kenya he works at mata hospital in uh, in nairobi so i called him and it, i told him yesterday i tested and it was positive what well, comes today i did the test early in the morning as i woke up and the test was almost negative. Then he told me, you know what? Just go to any hospital nearby where you are right now and do a blood test. Only a blood test is the one which is going to confirm if you're pregnant or not. I don't know what you wore that day. Jacket and we just got out of the house just like that. You were so looking so shaggy, but we didn't care. We wanted to confirm if this baby is real, you know. So we went to the hospital, both of us, and then, yeah. They took the blood test and then they told us to come after 30 minutes. Then we went and they told us, yes, you're pregnant. We were so happy. My husband and I were so happy. We hugged, we kissed, and then we went home. And then we decided to go and eat something small. He, he was eating me. I was so excited. I couldn't even eat anything. So we left the house again we went because this gynecologist told me as soon as you're pregnant to avoid any miscarriage you have to take this 
par, uh, uh, what do you call them? Dufastone tablets. Dufastone tablets, they tighten the uterus so you can't lose any baby. And I was afraid. I don't want. I didn't want to lose my child. So I went there, and uh, I took tablets for three months, which costed almost twenty three, twenty four thousand Kenya shillings. But I said for my child, it's worth it. Then we paid the money, and then we went to KFC. We ate. After that, we went home, and we were both happy. And that's how the journey started. So, by the way, guys, everything happened in July, and that's when we wedded. That's when I and my husband did our wedding. That's when I it, I knew I was pregnant days before my birthday, and I was so happy, you know. Wedding, birthday, all together. We went for a vacation, even though my legs were so fat, but everything went well. And then I came back to Germany because of my work. That was in August 10th. I came back, I reported back to work. And I started there. I was just afraid because, you know, nursing and pregnancy doesn't go because of infection, because of anything. So I just told my doctor I work in a nursing. I, I'm, I'm a nurse. I can't go back to work because of this and that. And then he told me, yes, Lynette, you stay at home until you give birth. So I stayed at home and took care of the baby. And then the most funniest thing, uh, two doctors told me I was going, no, three doctors, they told me I was going to get a baby girl. And only one doctor saw it was a boy. At, uh, it was at five months. She said it was going to be a boy. The other doctors, until nine months, they said it's going to be a girl. During... Uh, but I was given a boy <laughs> So, you know, I bought things for baby girl and clothes and everything So they just confused me and I said even the next baby. I'm not going to do any test I just want to be surprised. That was the way I was surprised Yeah, guys, so uh, let's talk about During labor. So my labor I said it had Bleeding at 5 a.m. early in the morning i was just having cramps and so then i told my mom hey mom i'm having i'm bleeding my mom was with me here in germany i invited her and then that morning she said oh everything pack everything that you have let's go to the hospital you know we went to the hospital and yeah they said um, uh, what do you call it dilated or i don't know it was one centimeter and it's supposed to be 10 so i have to wait and then i waited until 24 hours were over it was only at three centimeter the next hours it was it only went to four centimeter and then it stuck there and my doctor the before he went he said after 24 hours if i have not given birth i'm supposed to be operated but that nurse who was there the next shift was so stubborn she was so stubborn. She didn't want to operate to let send me to the operation room. I, it got to a point I was so tired. I just wanted to go to the operation room and get out of there. I just wanted to get out of that room, you know, and have my baby. Yeah, I was so tired. That nurse gave me a lot of medicines. I don't know if this is to induce what another one on my backbone. She gave me a lot of things. I don't even I don't know. So after 36 hours, my doctor came back and he saw the rate of my baby the heartbeat of my baby was going low and they rushed me to the operation room guys i almost lost my son or maybe i would have even died on that journey so they rushed me to the operation room like in five minutes they were rushing things they came they came many of them all of they, like a group of them they came at once doing this another one doing that i don't know what they were doing and they were rushing me to the operation room to get the baby out so after they took the baby i mean when they were opening my stomach i felt like they were washing i don't know what they were doing but it was a very strange feeling i was even i thought i was going to die guys i was so afraid and then i just heard the cry of my baby and i just cried there and then they kept my baby on my chest but I couldn't even hold my baby for one minute. I started vomiting all those medicines this woman gave me. 
I vomited. My mom was the one who took my baby from me. And uh, she was told to remove her clothes and cover my baby with her chest. I don't know, that, that kangaroo thing, you know. And then they went to the station up there and they waited for me. So, yeah, the, after that, I went and joined them and I was really shaking. They put three blankets. I was like, no, no, I was still shaking. I don't know. I don't know if you have ever experienced that, but I was really freezing, freezing, freezing. Eh? And then the doctor came and gave me, took some tests again on my blood. And then he gave me some iron, iron uh, medicine because my iron uh, level was very low. I have, I had iron problem. I still have, I still take those iron tablets because I don't want to fall into anemia. So that was the, that's how the horrible, that was the horrible delivery thing, guys. I had a C-section together with the labor pain, 36 hours of labor pain plus C-section. It was horrible. I was having pain, pain, you know? Yeah, and uh, at the end, I saw my son and all the pain went away. Only that, the CS pain, it can't go away. Hmm, the CS pain is there with you to stay. And then I realized my son was kind of shaking a little bit, I think some hours after birth. That was because of the long labor that this woman in that hospital, I won't mention the name of the hospital, but the name of the, the hospital is in Stuttgart. And it was the horrible hospital where someone can go and give birth. And maybe if you have given birth to some kids, then that's fine. But as a first time mom, I wouldn't advise anybody to go to that hospital. I know I know some, some of my friends also told me about the same hospital that they had the worst experience. And um, yeah, at least I've known even the second baby, I can't go to that hospital. And guys, my baby had some problem after birth because of the long, long labor. And I had to be admitted again to another hospital, which was far away from Stuttgart. I went to another hospital. They did some tests on him, on his head, because he was shaking. And they thought it was something bad. But they only said it is something. It's nothing. It's something that is, it came during uh, delivery, you know. And yeah, but after six months, it was over. And I thank God. And like I said, that hospital was horrible. It made me almost lose my life and almost lose the life of my son. But thank God now the journey is over. So guys, if you are new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also don't forget to turn the bell notification on so that you don't miss any interesting videos I'll be uploading about story time, about food, about trending topics. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.